Good morning, you guys. I already had myself a full morning today. I woke up, did some work on my computer, edited an entire vlog for Wednesday, and then I actually went to spin, and then I jumped in the ocean by myself, which is actually an accomplishment because I've never jumped in the ocean fully by myself. And then I just took a shower, brushing through the way leave-in conditioner through my hair. I'm about to wash my face, and I'm also gonna put on some eye patches because I found my old eye patches that I haven't used in forever. I'm actually gonna rearrange the office a little bit today. I ordered these two shelving units from Ikea. Honestly, just because we need so much more storage and we're kind of in our organization era, I would say. Like we're really just trying to make sure our home feels really minimal and honestly clean. Like I hate when there's just a bunch of clutter everywhere. So we're gonna kind of turn that room into part closet room, but I'm still gonna have my desk in there and I'm still gonna use my Mac computer. I also think it'll be really cute because I can kind of showcase my bags, my shoes, and then have like a little spot for my perfume, my jewelry. I will kind of like finish getting ready in there. I think it'll be really nice to just have like my own little room. But I still get my office too. Excited about that. Kind of gave myself the morning off just because I have been working a lot actually. And it's good to give ourselves rest every once in a while. So let's go do some laundry. I'm also gonna make myself another coffee. I actually got a salad when I was out at the beach. I woke up pretty early this morning, so I had a really early lunch, I guess. Oh, this is the bathing suit that I wore. Look how cute it is. I didn't get a clip in it, but I wanted to show you guys because I found that also recently. I actually think I'm gonna do Olipop. That's what I'm feeling. This was part of my present that Lily got me for my birthday. She got these really cute glasses from a shop in Arizona. It's called the Lifestyle Co. We're obsessed with that store. My best friend Katie actually used to work there. Hunter actually just built the first shelf for me. I did think that it was gonna be a little bit darker wood, but we're gonna take the scones off the mirror and I have two right here. Or we were thinking about doing them on this side, ignore the messy desk, and then putting my desk over here. Not really sure. Just got a bunch of the shoes that I wanna put on it. I didn't get any of my running shoes because I feel like I want it to be my nicer shoes since they're gonna be out. And then the next shelf is gonna have like organizer bins. <laughs> Okay, just finished putting everything on. I think I like the way that only one shelf looks instead of building the second one. So maybe we'll put the second one somewhere else in our house. But let me know what you guys think. Sorry, there's been a lot of like reset stuff today. I don't know why I was so busy yesterday on Monday that I didn't get to a lot of this stuff. So anyway, I'm gonna go do some work on my computer. Ended up taking the couch cushions off and washing them. I'm gonna put these back on and then I'll see you guys in a little. Okay, I'm about to record my podcast. Just wrote down the notes. Hopefully I can get this recorded and edited tonight so I can go up tomorrow. I'm actually working out with Sydney and Allison tomorrow morning, so I'm not gonna have time to edit and everything. So I'm gonna get everything completely done tonight. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to Not Your Typical with Not Your Typical Fitness Lover, Keaton the One. I'm really excited for today's episode because I'm- Good morning. It's morning for you guys, but it's not morning for me. I just haven't picked up the vlog yet today. I've been working on my computer all day, honestly. have not left the house once. I actually really wanna get out of the house tonight. I feel like on days, that I don't really vlog and I just have computer days. It's really nice for Hunter and I to like get out and go on a walk. We're probably gonna do that tonight. I also really quickly wanted to mention the sponsor of today's video. I haven't talked about them yet, but it's actually Squarespace. I work with Squarespace all the time because they're one of my favorite brands. They help you guys because they're an all-in-one platform that helps you build, create, and design a website. If you guys have either a blog, a brand, a company where you sell a product, you guys should definitely check out Squarespace. They're super beginner friendly. If you're someone like me that had no idea how to create a website, I promise it won't be confusing. They have so many different templates to choose from. They have different options to sign up a newsletter, to create a shop page, to be able to look at all the analytics, to see who's coming onto your website. There's just so many different options, which makes it the best platform, in my opinion, to create and design a website. So if you guys do wanna try them out, my code still works, it's Caitlin Nolan. It will actually get you a 30 day free trial. So if you do wanna try it out, you don't wanna commit yet, totally fine, just try it out. And then when you are ready to purchase a domain or website, you can use my code, which is Caitlin Nolan, and it will get you 10% off. So thank you Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. I'm gonna go find Hunter, get dressed, and I'll bring you through the rest of my night since I didn't really vlog earlier today. Hunter and I have also been going to the gym together. So I just grabbed my headphones, put on this Shop Vitality set, 
and these shorts are actually from Form. So the top is Shop Vitality, the shorts are Form, and then I have my Form gym bag as well. We yeah. should have some fuel on us before I work out. I feel like if I like try to power through a workout without eating, like I just won't have a good workout. So I'd rather get some smoothies. We have to do some errands anyway. So we'll probably do smoothies, do whatever errands Hunter has, and then go to the gym. That sound good? And then we can make lunch and stuff, because by then we'll be hungry again. <laughs> it's a perfect day out. Okay, happy Thursday. We're doing something different this morning and my friend Cindy and I decided to wake up at sunrise and go to the beach because nobody's at the beach usually that early in the morning and we really wanted to film another workout. If you guys remember from a couple months ago, we did a beach workout and it was so much fun. Both of us love fitness and it's just really fun to create the workout, film it for you guys and a lot of you guys actually did it. So we thought it would be fun to switch up the workouts and post one every single month. The next month will be arms and then we'll do a full body and it's just a fun way to post something that you guys can actually go do. I feel like it was such a fun morning for Sydney and I. Like waking up that early is something I probably wouldn't do by myself, especially getting out of the house, like going to the beach. It was just such a cool vibe. Plus we got Starbucks after, which was fun. We were laughing because we had so much sand literally everywhere and it just ended up being such a good morning. Good morning guys, hold on. About to open this little bush. It's only nine in the morning. I didn't wake up until like 5.30. Yeah, it was really freaking fun. Like I was just texting her and I was like, I'm on a high from this morning. Like it was like, just insane going and watching the sunrise. I guess it wasn't technically the sunrise, but when we got there, it was kind of light out and then it increasingly got light. And then we did the workout, went to Starbucks. I got a coffee and now I'm gonna take a shower because I'm actually getting my hair done today. It's hair day. I think I'm gonna go shorter today and a little bit lighter. I feel like my hair is like one of the main things that grows the fastest, like out of my nails, my eyebrows, just everything. My hair grows really fast, so my hair is super outgrown right now and my roots are really dark because that's my natural hair color. So I just wanna lighten up, it up a bit for the summertime and I feel like that'll help me feel a little bit more confident because honestly, I've not been feeling very confident lately, which is fine and I'm sure it'll pass because I feel like I always just will go through little ruts of feeling like just unconfident and it doesn't really help always being on camera because I feel like then I kind of pick myself apart, which I don't like to do, obviously. But lately I've just been noticing like a few little things that I try not to like think of as insecurities and more of just like things that are me. But I always feel really confident after I get my hair done and I feel like it's definitely a more materialistic thing to do to help with confidence and obviously I do a lot of other things too. like affirmation, meditating, journaling, like a lot of other things that are more internal, but I don't think that the things on the outside are a bad thing. So I'm really excited to get my hair done. And then tonight we're going to Barbie and we're also going to Zinke, which is my favorite restaurant and I haven't seen Barbie, so I'm really excited. And I can't wait. Coco, are you barking? I might honestly need a nap in between editing and going to my hair appointment. My appointment is at one o'clock and I'm gonna bring my laptop there. So I have a lot of work to do on my laptop. I might try and record my podcast episode for next week before I leave because that's something I could do while I'm just sitting there. And then, yeah, I'll probably edit this vlog, get some Instagram stuff up, have a really productive day. I'm gonna try not to crash today because I woke up really early and I didn't get much sleep, so I probably will end up taking a nap, but okay. See you guys in a little bit. My hair appointment took three hours, so I just Uber eat some lunch. I got a turkey wrap from Jan's. I'm very excited to try this. Mmm. I'm really excited to see what my hair is gonna look like in the sunlight and also when I curl it the way that I like to curl it. I'll put my hairdresser down below so you guys can go to her if you're in the Orange County area. It's really hard to find a good hairdresser and she was fully booked this month but then last minute she could squeeze me in which I was really excited about. 
you know, I didn't want to try someone new. I feel like with hair, like, it can really affect your confidence too. I try to be careful. I was going to say you have to be careful, but I personally try to be careful about who I go to. So I was like a wreck. I'm going to eat this. I have a 30 minute drive home and I will see you guys for dinner. I'm on my way home and I'm actually going to get Hunter and I a Starbucks because we have to be up really late because we're not going to the movie until 9.30. I feel like I actually got a lot done today even though it probably doesn't seem like it because I went to a hair appointment, but I love going to hair appointments because I feel like you can get so much computer work done and I feel like I'm such a busybody and a lot of even what I do for work is believe it or not like computer work and I feel like a huge part of my job is going out and filming things like even this morning Cindy and I went to the beach and we filmed the workout but what goes behind the scenes of actually editing and putting together that content takes a lot of energy and I feel like especially if you want to go the like more creative route it can take a lot of brain power and I feel like because of that I like to push that side of my job off. I don't know, I just feel like I usually will do that side of my job later on in the day or really early in the morning just because I don't wanna waste daylight because I used to, I usually like to film in the daylight. So I just feel productive today. I got a lot done that I would usually have to do tonight, but. Hello. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. We're going out. Literally it's been the most full day and honestly there's nothing I wanna do more than just lay in bed and read or watch TV, but like this is a prime example of when we have balance throughout the week because I feel like usually we have pretty productive weeks and then we try and relax and chill on the weekends, but I feel like life should not be about being like, I have to be productive during the weeks so and then I can go crazy on the weekends. Like it's like, if something comes up like the Barbie movie or your friends ask you to go to dinner, Maybe yes, I should have listened to myself a little bit better today and not plan so much in the same day just because I obviously woke up super early today. I went and got my hair done, which is a lot of socializing. I did a lot of work on my computer and I'm definitely feeling tired right now, but I know that it's gonna be a really fun night with a lot of memories. So sometimes you gotta pick and choose your battles. I was walking on the bed, so if you guys are moving, if you're wondering if I'm gonna wear pink to the Barbie movie, I am. I'm also bringing Sydney a pink sweatsuit option because she asked me to. And I'm really excited for tonight, so let's go. We're gonna go to Zinke for dinner, which is my favorite restaurant. So that's actually why I didn't say no. <laughs> We just finished dinner. It was actually really good. I will let you guys know my thoughts after the movie. We're gonna get some snacks at the grocery store before we go to the movie theater because I feel like one, they're not gonna have a lot of snacks there because we're going to one of the ones that like serve actual dinner and then two, they're expensive there and they're not gonna have my favorite brands. <laughs> I'm craving like my favorite candy, so what we're doing. And then we'll obviously get popcorn at the movie. Good morning. I decided when I woke up today that I was craving a smoothie and a coffee. That combo is just one of my favorites in the summertime, especially when it's so hot outside. So I ended up making my blueberry smoothie and my maple syrup latte. You guys know the deal. These are my two favorite recipes. I make them in almost every vlog and it's just what I was craving this morning. It's Saturday morning and it's actually pretty deep into the morning by now i've done a lot this morning already not like anything productive but i actually went and borrowed this workout set from my friend sydney you guys know sydney she let me borrow this because i wanted to get a cute set for an event that i have tomorrow for work hung out for a little bit we ended up posting our workout that we did the other day on instagram it's actually my favorite post i've ever made on instagram and we put a lot of effort into it so I was editing that with her for the entire bulk of the morning and you guys should go check it out because it was actually a really good workout too. I only say actually because we didn't use a lot of weight and a lot of the time I need a lot of weight to feel like I am getting my heart rate up enough but the exercises that we chose are just really good and I felt huge, huge burn in the glutes and the abs and yeah, it was just really fun. So I actually, I need to change out of this outfit. Knowing me, I'll probably spill on it and I wanna wear it tomorrow. I'm gonna bring you guys with me for that event tomorrow. You guys will see there's just some fun stuff that's gonna happen. It's already like seven o'clock right now. We decided to eat dinner in tonight because we've just been doing things for the past two days and we're like, it actually sounds nice to have a day at home tonight. And we ended up just cooking some dinner. We got all the stuff from the grocery store, just cooked together. We're both like sweating because we were cooking dinner. We have the laundry going and we also have the dishwasher going and it gets so hot in our little kitchen right here. But we ended up making chipotle bowls because I really wanted to make something that we could take to go 
tomorrow and then also on Monday. I have a busy day tomorrow and then I have a few things on Monday that I just don't want to have to cook for. We usually run to Chipotle bowls when we want leftovers because as we cook it, we just put everything into the container. As you can see, we have our little rainbow veggies. This is a mix between red bell, red bell pepper, green bell pepper, and some onion. And then we chopped up all of the toppings. We have our meat, favorite chips, guac, all the stuff. And then we obviously had to pour ourselves some olipop. We're actually going to sunset tonight too, but we were like, let's just eat in. And then we're gonna play games tonight and I got some dessert. I ended up getting the best ice cream and then also my favorite cookies of all time. So that'll be later, but we're gonna eat very wild Saturday night. <laughs> all right, babe, let's make our bowls. like better than going out sometimes honestly and I'm like the last person to say that <laughs> morning you guys this is my breakfast before my little workout event also meeting some friends for coffee Lindsay and Nat I just did a avocado toast and then I had two eggs that I made yesterday hard-boiled and then I also have a mush I'm finishing up my breakfast before I go but I'm on my way actually to get coffee with Lindsay and Nat before we go to this really fun event I'm so excited it's actually a workout event I really only go to workout events because I feel like it's a little less stressful like even just if I were to go hang out with someone that I've never hung out for before like alone I always am like let's go to workout class because I feel like it's a little bit less stressful especially if you're somebody that has a little bit of social anxiety usually like I'd be nervous for like a work event but I'm not nervous at all especially because the girls who are running it are Nikki, Brinley, and Kylie and those three girls are so sweet and I've already met Brinley before but I've never met the other two girls so I'm honestly just so excited we have a bunch of mutual friends I feel like it's similar to like when I run into one of you guys if you do watch me on YouTube it's not like it feels like we're meeting for the first time. It's like, oh my gosh, how are you? How is Hunter? Is Coco at home right now? Like, it's different than if you just meet someone that you literally have no clue who they are, like at the grocery store or something. So it's a little bit less stressful and I'm honestly just so excited. I'm happy that Lindsay and I can get coffee before too because it's been, I just saw Nat last week, but it's been a really long time since I've been able to see Lindsay and we're just reuniting. So I'm really excited. I also packed my water and the electrolyte for the workout. We're also doing the ice barrel there. Not sure if I'll actually get in, but we'll see. Because I've never done a real ice bath before. I've only jumped in the ocean when it was really cold, which is like half the amount of freezingness than it actually is when you get in an ice bath. I feel like I have avocado on my face, but let's go. I love how I brought this in my bag. Spilled everywhere, all over my leggings. Very me. I've never been here before and I feel like I'm gonna want this to be my new gym. <laughs> Hunter is actually doing a little tournament until 8.30 tonight. So I don't have anything to do. So I was like, I'm gonna take myself to the beach and watch sunset because I've never taken myself to the beach alone. I just come to this beach that is just like a neighborhood that leads straight into the beach. It's like a tiny beach. It's not like a state beach or anything. So I'm just gonna watch the sunset and then maybe pick up something for dinner. I've had very social dice, so I'm like, I need to de-stress. I only have like 45 minutes until he's done, so. Back home, ended up stopping at the grocery store and I also just washed my face, did my skincare, and I'm about to cook some dinner. Okay? Coco just came running in from her nap. You wanna be part of the party? I actually found this recipe on Michelle Reed's YouTube channel. I got these diced tomatoes. These have Italian seasonings in them. Basil, garlic, onion. This is hot Italian sausage. They didn't have my favorite Urbiata sauce. This one's obviously really good, but my favorite one is by a brand called Pizza Girl. You guys have to try it. They have it at Whole Foods. Then I got some mushrooms put in it, baby spinach, and then I picked up some random stuff. Dessert, I thought this cookie dough square looked really good for Hunter and I. This will be for the morning some cold brew, almond milk restock, and then I snack on these, which are my favorite snack from Mother's, but I'm gonna start cooking. Need to get my computer. Like I said, I got this recipe from Michelle Reed's YouTube channel, and I'm actually gonna watch her as I cook because I feel like when I find a YouTuber, I just watch their channel repeatedly. I feel like it's hard to keep up with just so many people and what everybody's doing, and 
I don't know, I just feel like I tend to usually just like binge watch a couple YouTubers at a time, but like usually I find one person, I'm like, oh, I really like their videos right now. Like maybe they're, well, they're not at the same part of life. She's actually pregnant. I was gonna say they're at the same part of life. They're just into the same things. Maybe they're into the same aesthetic at the same time as you. And then I'll be like, oh my God, I haven't watched this YouTuber I used to watch every single day. And it's been like six months. It's crazy, but just put the pans on high and then I also have my water boiling. I'm gonna put two tablespoons of olive oil in here and then cook the onion and garlic, mix in the Italian sausage and then add in all the canned goods, the tomato sauce, tomatoes with Italian herbs with the broth in it, chicken broth and cream. And I'm just gonna use half and half that I already have. Rest of the day, once I get home, but for now, I'm ready to get some has joined us. We got some treats for Coco, grass fed. You're gonna eat like mama Coco. <laughs> and some olive pop. Thanks, babe. Good morning, you guys. Woke up at like 6 a.m. today. I've just been on my computer and I'm actually about to make myself breakfast. I'm so hungry. I was sitting there. I was like, I need to eat right now. Usually I don't eat this early in the morning because I don't get hungry until like 8, but I need to figure out what to make. I actually woke up with anxiety today, like, I don't know, I just can like feel it today and like, whatever, I don't need to go into it, but I'm actually meeting my friend at 9, JC, we're going to go on a walk this morning and we're also going to go to Kit, which is good because I feel like when I have anxiety, it's actually really good for me to get out and hang out with a friend because my type of anxiety is like very self-induced and I feel like I go through spirals, so if I'm just like sitting here alone being like oh why do i have anxiety today like it'll just get worse and worse so very happy that she texted me last night to go on a walk i'm gonna give coco this grass-fed dog treat we just got it. as you can tell she likes them i was also gonna say don't compare yourself to my anxiety like i know a lot of people can't go hang out with friends or leave the house when they have anxiety like i've struggled with different types of anxiety my entire life and for different reasons and i feel like there was definitely a part of my life where it was the opposite like if i had anxiety i had to go home or be surrounded by my mom or something like that. So it's just important not to compare yourself and especially anything mental health related, like that will do absolutely no good. But I just wanted to talk about it because I know that a lot of people do struggle with it on the daily and so do I and I feel like I've opened up about that a lot more recently and it's really just to be like a friend that also has it, not for you to compare yourself. But I need to figure out, <laughs> wanna see Coco do a trick? Can you give me your paw? Good paw. Can you give me the other paw? Girl. <laughs> We're gonna go with a smoothie. It's two o'clock right now. Not sure if there's anything with your guys' jobs where you could incorporate walking, but it does make me feel so much better. Like maybe you can take a meeting on your headphones as you walk, or like if you have a presentation you're listening to back or something like that. Even if you just have to take like a 15 minute break to go on a walk, I do feel like in the middle of the day, it does make me feel really good, especially when I have a morning where I'm just sitting down the entire time. So anyway, I really want to go work out. I want to do back and biceps today and maybe a little bit of chest. I am thinking about, jumping in the water after. I actually am filming a campaign with a brand later on tonight as well. It's called Drift. It's like ways that I incorporate wellness into my routine. So I was thinking it'd be really fun to go jump in the ocean for the video because I feel like that's a huge part of my life right now and I keep doing that because it does make me feel good and it is a way that I incorporate wellness and feeling good into my lifestyle. So yeah, I thought it'd be really fun to do that after the gym and I also really want to just film ads and Instagram content, TikTok content as I live my life and not let it affect my life because I feel like this job can get too mixed into your actual life and I feel like if I'm just filming the moments as they come and I definitely need like a wellness <laughs> afternoon and self-care afternoon. I'm gonna listen to Travis Scott's new album while I work out. I really like his album. This is my favorite song. It's so funny. Hunter showed me the song and I was like, eh, not really my favorite. And then the next day, I was at the gym and it came on my headphones and I sent him a screenshot and I was like, this song is so good. And then I was like, wait, is that literally the song that you sent me yesterday? 
He's like, yeah, he's right there. Do you want to come say at the vlog? You're never on in the week because you're always in your office. Coco, you're on the vlogs in the week. Miss Bark. Did you hear what I said in the vlog? Yeah, about the song. Yeah, I think I'm going to go jump in the water after my workout. That'll be fun. The water's going to be warm. Maybe I just feel that way because I'm really hot right now. I feel like when I went on a walk earlier, it was hot too. Yeah. Hunter took Coco on a morning walk. We're trying to get in the routine of walking her in the morning and then walking her at night. Hopefully it'll stick, but uh, I'm gonna go to my workout. I'll show you guys an outfit of the day before I go. I know I show you guys this top a lot, but it's literally my favorite top to work out in. And I need something that I just feel cute and comfortable in today. So this is my aloe top. I did just get a new sports bra from aloe last week. Really comfortable, I really liked it the day that I wore it. So I'm wearing it again and then I have on my story biker shorts which are my faves and then my new balance sneakers cute cute i definitely want to stretch at the gym today because it's been a while since i've stretched let's do it i will see you in a little bit miss coats bye bye been a little bit since I've talked to you guys I went to the gym you guys saw that went home got some leftovers for lunch and now I'm actually headed to the beach to film and also jump in the water which I'm excited about I'm feeling really tired and honestly like a little overwhelmed today and I honestly I just wanted to spend the night with family so I'm actually going to my family's house in Laguna tonight for dinner and we might end up having a sleepover I don't really know I brought my bag I actually got this aloe duffel bag for Hunter for the vacation that's coming up but I stole it tonight so I could bring all my stuff just in case I hate like going anywhere and then I end up wanting to sleep over and I don't have my skincare change of outfit all of that so anyway I also grabbed these before I left I got in my two packages of simple modern cups. I wanted to show you guys them, so I just brought them with me because I was kind of in a rush. Look how cute. I also got the pink one. Normally I would not go for like a vibrant one, but I really love neon colors right now. I know, very untypical to my life, but honestly it's been kind of typical all summer for me. Look at the freaking straw. I've never seen a cup that looks like this. It's like extremely thin and the straw is huge. Catch me drinking everything out of these, but. Okay, I'm gonna go to the beach and then I will see you when I cook some dinner. This is the brand that I'm filming for for Instagram and it's actually car fresheners that make your car just have like a wellness smell. And these genuinely smell like you're in a spa. It's like crazy. I am about to open it, but they go right here. I kind of have a mark on my dashboard from the other one that I had up there, but that was my fault, not their fault. And they just came out with this new scent. I will link these down below. Honestly, like, I hate car fresheners, I'm very sensitive to them, and this one smells like an actual spa in your car, like, it's insane, seriously. Like, please try this. Not sponsored, I am working with them on Instagram, but there's no reason why I would have to share them on YouTube. I just genuinely feel like you guys will love these because they make me feel very calm. Okay, I probably look crazy because my hair is like, just jumped in the ocean, but I went by myself. I feel like it's scary a little bit to jump in the ocean by yourself because I feel like, I don't know, like when I'm with somebody, I always feel like I'm way less scared to do anything. But when I got to the water, there was like a lot of people around and I felt the water before I got in and it was like not actual bath water, like it's not like it's Florida, but it was refreshing and not too cold. So we got in, I literally went in in my outfit. We're about to cook some dinner. I'm gonna take a shower, brought all my self care. I love it out here. Mmm, looks amazing. We use this really yummy olive oil she got at the butcher. Thank you. 